back everyone to the BNC. I'm your host here as always, Alexis, and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new DC Comics film. This is Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer and question mark. It also stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, Joel Kinnaman, and Viola Davis. So Suicide Squad is about the United States government forming together this team of supervillains in an attempt to broaden their national security. And as you might expect, that brilliant plan is executed to its perfection. Margot Robbie, wow, <laughs> blew it away. She was amazing, as was Will Smith's Deadshot. I would have preferred to have had more of him in the film instead of wasting half of our time with Killer Croc or El Diablo, who we barely even come to know. Jared Leto's Joker, I feel it's gonna be a very polarizing Joker. Half the people that I went to go see it with loved him, half didn't really know what to make of him or didn't like him at all. He was completely needless and pointless in this film. It was a glorified cameo as you would come to have expected. It's just so little for me to actually have an opinion on this Joker. As fun as it can be to see this movie, I do have to declare right now that I did walk away disappointed with it. First, you don't care for half of the characters that are there that are barely even fleshed out if at all, the plot is ridiculous. The team is the reason why this happens or why it's needed in the first place and <sighs> the narrative is all over the place. It doesn't feel like anything coherent or cohesive happened at all. It felt several times as if the movie was just running in circles trying to catch up with the things that they've already established. The writing is sloppy. The editing is so choppy. It's pretty clear that a trailer editing company came in to work on this movie to cut it together. All of the jokes, I don't know what happened. They just fell flat with me. It just seemed as if they were trying too hard to be funny. The cameos were desperate. I don't want to make any news here, but I kind of feel like we're getting into a pattern. This is continuing a trend of DC cliches. There were moments in here that just didn't make any sense. You can see what they were going for, what they were trying to do with those moments, but no, it, it, no, it didn't work. The studio once again got in its own way. They have a plan, but they have no know-how as to actually execute it. If you liked it, you loved it good. I know the reviews came out and they kind of really lowered expectations, but don't kid yourselves here. The narrative, the plot, the writing, the editing, Oh my goodness, and don't even get me started on the music. It was trying too hard to be Guardians of the Galaxy with all of these music cut-ins. By the time we get to the end of the first hour, there's like 38 songs. At some point, you feel like you're watching a music video, you feel like you're watching a video game, you feel like you're watching a different edit of a movie. It's a mess. A mess that I think most people will find a lot of enjoyment in, especially with Will Smith, Margot Robbie, and Jared Leto. And if you are one of those people, good for you. Unfortunately, I can't because I have no emotional attachment to any of these characters, and I can't really get invested into anything. It's definitely a movie that is going to be talked about for a long time. It's going to have a very polarized point of view from a lot of people. So please go ahead and watch this movie. The more people watch it, the more we can talk about it because it's one of those movies that we need to talk about. So that's my review on Suicide Squad. Please let me know what you thought down below. If you have something negative to say or positive to say, I don't care. I'll respond to whatever. I'm ready for all the dislikes and all the hate. Um, this is my opinion and I'm, I understand not everybody feels this way. Uh, but thank you for watching. I really do appreciate that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos here on the BNC, the place for all things movie news and reviews. Bye-bye.